Good evening. Union Settlement is an on-the-ground resource for East Harlem residents of all ages and a tireless advocate for the needs of underserved communities. Since, our, since opening our doors in 1895, we have brought education, wellness, and community building programs to the neighborhood. An area rich in culture and immigrant diversity, and one of the lowest income communities in New York City. By helping our neighbors realize their goal, we build the success and vitality of East Harlem. We serve over 10,000 East Harlem residents every year through a wide array of programs. Good evening, and my name is Esther Kuykendall. I am the Director of Youth Services here at Union Settlement. I will now like to introduce the panel. Uh, Ashley Rodriguez, Deputy Director. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I will now introduce our Program Director, Kanisha. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Program Assistant, Nicholas. Hello. Group Leader, Zara. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Our Youth Services Division provides a robust after school and summer education, arts, and recreation programs for children from kindergarten through high school. Union Settlement's Youth Services Division offers more than 3,200 children, adolescents, and young adults with programs that foster creativity, curiosity, resilience, problem solving, instills habits and of perseverance and enhances social and emotional skills. Every year, eager and energetic children, teens, and young adults actively seek and create opportunities to forge brighter futures through our programs. Many enter our programs through the elementary age and stay with, stay with us until college. For them, we become a second family. We provide a wide range of after-school summer programs for youth ages 5 to 24. Youth services is comprised of after-school summer programs, college readiness and retention, workforce development, East Harlem Youth Opportunity Hub, NYCHA Teen Expansion Program, and our AIM program providing services to court-involved youth. We have been offering our center-based programs in Washington Houses Community Center and Gaylord White Community Center for well over 40 years. Our school-based programs at PS 112 and 138, 138 have been active since 2013. All of our programs abide by the New York State School Age Child Care licenses, and we abide by all SAC regulations. Each child has an individualized slate of daily activities that reflects his or her need and preferences. Program activities are led by activity specialists with a special expertise in dance, literacy, drama, music, recre and recreation. Particular activities derive from each child's individual activity plan and is formulated with each parent and the school administration in mind. The activities are designed to offer participants a balanced mix, including academic enrichment, arts, and physical activities. We provide pickup during the school year at several local elementary schools. Our SAC programs are made possible through our funding and partnership with the Department of Youth and Community Development, also known as DYCD. I will now pass it over to our Deputy Director of Elementary Middle School Programs, Ashley Rodriguez, to give us a brief overview of our summarizing initiative. For the first time, the New York City's Department of Education with the New York City's Department of Youth and Community Development will join forces to integrate academic and school-based enrichment programming. Students in grades K through eight will have the opportunity to get outside and learn, all while interacting with their friends, teachers, and CBO staff in a safe and supervised environment. Most importantly, they'll have fun. Students in grades K through eight will have access to academic instruction during the morning portion of the program. In the afternoon, they will transition to art-based and other recreational activities and additional outdoor exploration. In addition, students will participate in community building and social emotional learning activities. Summarizing's goal is to address students' academic and social emotional needs, all while gaining some of the experiential learning loss resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. Couple of things to remember. Summarizing is available to all New York City students in grades K through eight and includes students with disabilities. All summarizing programs are being run by local school leaders partnering with community-based organizations such as Union Settlements to provide full day and in-person experiences that support culturally relevant and inclusive academic content, arts, recreation, and social emotional support. 
Our goal is to support students in fully integrating back into the school building over the summer to prepare for the transition of in-person instruction during the upcoming school year. Our programs are safe and fun. All of the staff have been trained and are prepared to support students with adjusting back to in-person instructions. Lastly, we will also be providing students with three meals a day, which include breakfast, lunch, and snack. I will now pass it over to our program director, Kanisha, who will give us an overview of summer camp. Kanisha? Thank you, Esther. Good evening, everyone. So the Rising Stars Summer Camp Program currently has available slots at two of our center-based locations. The first location is the Gala White Community Center, which is located at 237 East 104th Street, which is the main site of the organization. Currently, they have slots available, as I mentioned, grades fifth to um, kindergarten to fifth grade. Um, children are there to participate in various activities throughout the day. And then our second location is the Washington Houses Community Center, which is located at 98th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The ages for both locations are 5 years old to 12 years old, kindergarten to 5th grade as well. Program operates Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.45 p.m. There are a host of various activities that are facilitated by our staff, which are group leaders of class with aides. Activities are including literacy to promote reading and writing, um, social emotional learning, physical activities, as well as healthy learning, as well as technology. We also provide, as mentioned, hot and cold healthy meals, which includes breakfast, lunch, and snack. We will be providing uh, participants with community walks and trips to opportunities to provide um, fresh air, as well as we do have a summer theme that is going to be provided for children to engage in the um, summer theme, which is around the world in 40 days. So students will be engaging in various activities throughout the days. Um, they're going to be doing lots of arts and crafts that will promote um, a lot of the enrichment programming that will be geared towards our culminating event at the ending of our summer program. So in order to enroll your child, you have to fill out an application. I will be passing it over to Nicholas Hernandez, who will provide you guys with more information on enrollment process. Hello. So um, I'm the program assistant for both Washington Houses Community Center and Gaylord White Community Center. Um, if you are trying to sign up your children for any kind of programs um, involving the summer or the after school program that we have, um, you can either come to the main building at 1775 98th Street and 3rd Avenue um, to fill an application in person or you could go online to uh, discoverdycd.dycdconnect.nyc. Um, from there, there are many ways that you could um, look for our programming. Um, on the website, you can basically fill out an application online um, for either the summer rising or the other summer programs that we have. All you would have to do is put in the keyword union settlement. Um, it'll pull up all of the options that we have and Again, like I said, if you are coming in person, you can also bring um, certain paperwork like a medical form that will allow us to streamline the process to make it easier and quicker to have your children start the program with us. Um, other than that, uh, you can also look on our website to kind of get the, um, get the contact information for the specific programs that you're looking for, um, even with, like I said, the summer programs and after school. Um, for that, that's it pretty much right now. Thank you, Nicholas. Um, so I would like to just pause and go around um, to Kanisha specifically and Nicholas, and if you can talk about your experience um, here at Union Settlement and how long you've been here, right? I think some parents will be interested in hearing about um, the amount of time that you've spent here and, and your contribution to the organization. Uh, Kanisha? Yeah, so thank you. I've been with the organization in my current position for seven years. Um, I'm actually from the community. I was raised in Washington Houses Community Center, so I know the neighborhood, and I've been actually a participant over the years within the organization and various components. Um, I think this is definitely a great organization to provide so many things and re resources that the agency can provide. Um, as, as a program director, my goal is to provide the students that are coming in just to kind of have fun, you know, especially during the summer with all that has happened within the last year. So definitely motivating participants as well as staff, 
um, networking with various parents to support them with whatever services and needs that they have. So definitely come down, enroll your child today. We do have available slots and we're definitely looking forward to being a, a partner with your participants, your staff, as well as your parents. Thank you, Kanisha. So if there's a parent that actually needs help enrolling in the program, um, Nicholas, I'm going to pass it to you. You can talk about your experience and maybe some help that you may be able to provide parents with enrolling in the program. All right. Um, so I've actually been working for Union Settlement on um, my current position for about two years, but I've been working as a teacher, um, a group aide, group leader, and eventually becoming a program assistant after working for the company for about six years. Um, from there, uh, I've also been a part of other programs. Um, so we had the Work Progress Program. We had, um, I was a part of the daycare actually when I was younger and mental health um, growing up. Um, Union Summit has been a very big help for me in my development and growth. Kanisha, can you talk to us more about your enrollment process and some help that you might be able to give parents? I know that this year we're pushing for parents to enroll online. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you can talk to maybe some assistance we, that we can provide to parents who need assistance enrolling online. Absolutely. So yes, the um, online application process is definitely fairly new and very convenient, especially with technology. It gives families the opportunity to be able to sit friendly at a computer or whatever device and register and go online. That way they can actually actually fill out the information and then submit it. Once the application is submitted, we program directors receive it on our end and basically accept the information in the, in the database. And then we'll give the family a call to confirm that the child is enrolled and accepted into the program. And then there's further information about attending the parent orientation. However, if you wanna um, come in person to the particular site, you can actually get an application in which you will be submitting your information. Um, there's several pieces of um, information that is important on the application, which is emergency contacts, um, if your child has any allergies or any medical concerns or issues or anything that is going to be related to the child for the staff to be aware of. And then, of course, a medical form is definitely needed because the child has to have seen a physical doctor within the last year. So once you submit the medical for your child or your children and the application is reviewed, you sign off, you indicate the date, and then you submit the application to either Nicholas, depending on if you're signing up for the Washington Houses Center or Gala White or for one of the other um, summarizing programs. And then basically your application is on file. And then if there's any changes that needs to be made along the way, just let the program manager or the program assistants know and then the information will be updated. Thank you, Kanisha. So I will now pass it to Zara just to give us a brief overview of some program slots that we may have available currently um, and programs that are full but will accept students on the wait list. Zara? All right. So hello, my name is Zara. I'm a group leader at PS 138 for kindergarten and first grade. So as Kanisha said earlier, we have open slots at the Washington Houses Community Center and the Gaylord White Community Center. Um, we have 37 out of the 60 slots at the Gaylord White Community Center filled and 56 out of 100 of the Washington Houses uh, out of 100 slots uh, filled. Um, I will say that for the school programs at PS112 and PS138, they are filled, but especially at PS138, we are working on taking out the kids who, you know, aren't able to show up for school or whatever. We are working on taking out the kids who, you know, aren't showing up or who have decided that they don't want to stay at the summer program so that we can have open slots. So still apply. We're definitely looking at those applications. Um, M007 has some open slots. They're 51% enrolled, and M007 Elementary have had a 72% um, enrollment. I will say that as a group leader at PS 138, I feel fully supported. Um, I definitely get along with the kids well, and um, supervisors go out of their way to give you whatever supply to give us whatever supplies they need, and make sure that the summer is fun for the kids. We do know that the kids, you know, aren't going on any trips this month specifically, but we are we have um, people coming in having fun with the kids, hip hop, um, and it's definitely fun. So definitely, uh, I encourage you guys to apply if you can. Thank you so much, Zara. Um, so I did see a question come up from Facebook, and so I'll address it. 
Um, our ages, uh, we, we are service, servicing, excuse me, elementary and middle school. And so for our PS 112 and 138 locations um, that are fully enrolled, you can apply as Zara mentioned, that is, um, those are elementary programs. Um, we have 007, which we're actually servicing elementary and middle school, and we have open slots in both, and that's M007. Um, I will pass it to Kanisha to cover Washington Houses and Gaylord White Community Center. Kanisha? Yes, yeah, so over here at the Washington Houses Community Center, it is an elementary program. So if your child is ages five, between five and 12 years old, your child is eligible. Um, at the Gala White Community Center, it's the same. So the only difference is basically the locations. Um, both centers are definitely providing enrichment activities throughout the day. Um, they are providing a host of um, Arts and craft projects that, as I mentioned earlier, based on our summer theme, each site will be um, focusing on a different continent, and that continent will provide the children with research. And amongst the research, there's going to be individual group discussion in which they'll be learning and providing in preparation for our annual community event towards the end of the summer. Thank you. Are there any other? Oh, there are a few questions coming in. So we, we probably neglected to mention this, but our programs are made possible, our SAC programs by DYCD, so there is no fee. Um, that's the Department of Youth and Community Development, so our programs are free of charge. We provide snack um, as well as lunch so there, and, and breakfast, so there is no charge to you at all um, for our school-based and our center-based programs. So there is no fee at all. You can invite a friend. You're not limited to your address, right? So. For summarizing, you can apply to any summarizing location, although we do hope that you select union settlement, but there, there's no restriction on the location and all of the summarizing and summer camp programs funded by DYCD are free of charge. Are there any other questions from Facebook? Okay, so there's another question about, can parents from different boroughs attend? And I did address that. Um, you're certainly not restricted to um, your address or your immediate area. If you have, if your participant or your child has a cousin, you know, that's visiting for the summer or someone nearby that's within your household or maybe someone that they can partner with and walk over to our program, feel free to apply. You're not limited by your address. Um, yes, yeah, so um, Amanda is asking about our 237 East 104th location. Our GWCC Gaylord White Community Center program um, is accepting participants. And we do have a program that runs out of GWCC, which your, your um, child can definitely certainly enroll in. Um, as we mentioned before, we have several slots um, available at that location. So I encourage you to go to our website. Um, and enroll into our program. Um, at, at GWCC and WHCC, I do want to point out that we have a partnership with Fresh Air Fund. Um, and so your participants will also be engaged in some outdoor activities through Fresh Air Fund um, on between Monday through Wednesday. And so they do walk over and they take part in outdoor activities and engagement led by the Fresh Air Fund team. So I do also want to mention that partnership here. Okay, so if there aren't any more questions, um, if you need help enrolling, you can contact us. If you go on our website, you'll see several email addresses that you can reach out to if, in fact, you do need assistance enrolling, but you can enroll right online. Or you can stop by any one of our centers and actually pick up a paper application if that is, is, is what you're comfortable with. Um, so I do want to just give you a brief overview of what a typical first week of camp looks like and, and what we've been doing um, throughout the first couple of days of camp. Um, so I will pass it over to Kanisha. Kanisha, if you want to just describe some of the activities that your participants have been engaged in, um, and then if you want to highlight you know, anything um, else about the program. So yes, thank you. So we um, actually can't start July 6th, so it's basically an introduction to the rules and regulations in terms of um, each group being set up making sure the children are aware of what to expect regarding the activities, making sure we are in compliance with the social distancing. So students have been working on the different things we've been surveying participants and trying to find out what interests they have in terms of what skills and making sure that it is incorporated within the activities that are being facilitated. So this is our first full week of summer camp. So right now we're just kind of focusing on our summer theme. So on a day-to-day -day basis, the students will give an hour of just different 
different activities relating towards the summer theme, as well as doing some physical activities that can encourage physical movement and healthy living. So the children are really excited about some of the things we've done so far. Um, we're definitely making sure that the children are safe and making sure that they are engaged. Every child is engaged in every activity. There are a lot, there are a lot of table games that the children are participating in as well. So some of the things that we've done thus far have been just engaging participants, getting to know the participants, as well as the families. We have a lot of returning participants as well as new participants. So definitely come out and roll your child today. We definitely have spots available and we're looking to provide your child with the best summer camp ever. Thank you so much, Kanisha, for providing us with an overview of what typically happens during the first week of camp. Um, so I know some parents are probably wondering what exactly is the difference between summarizing and summer camp? And so I know Ashley gave a brief overview in the beginning. And so I will also pass it back to Ashley. Ashley, if you can just give us some key differences between what your typical summer camp um, entails and what, your, what, what summarizing is and when summarizing came about for some parents who may be just hearing about this for the first time. Ashley? Sorry about that, <laughs> TV. Um, so this year we have a new chancellor, uh, Chancellor Porter, who came out with this initiative in collaboration with the Department of Youth and Community Development um, to bring about this summarizing program. So summarizing um, pretty much is the DOE and DYCD joining forces to provide um, academics, academic enrichment or support um, to students who um, lost some of that experiential learning during the, the COVID-19 pandemic since, you know, 60% of uh, the DOE student population was uh, remote. So some of those challenges uh, inspired uh, summer rising. And then with summer camp, uh, it's, it's really recreational based. However, we do try to disguise um, some of the uh, activities with um, sort of academics in terms of like dancing and utilizing vocabulary um, supporting students with like peer-to-peer, -peer, um, you know, relationships and guidance. Um, I know uh, Kanisha was gracious to mention our summer theme this year around the world in 40 days. So the students are learning language, they're learning culture, they're learning dance. So, you know, utilizing those pieces to sort of integrate um, some sort of uh, com academic component into our activities. Thank you so much, Ashley. So some parents may be wondering how we're keeping our students safe. And so what you will find at each of our locations, all, or, all of the students that attend our program will be screened upon entering the building. So whether it's a DOE building or one of our center-based locations, your temperature will be taken and that will also be um, documented for our records. Our, our staff are also screened um, and also we do require masks. And so that is something we're doing to keep our students safe, right? We do know that vaccinations are not available to everyone as of yet, especially some of our most vulnerable population that we serve on a daily basis. And so it's really important that um, you, you encourage your, your child to wear masks. Our teams will be masked, fully masked, indoors and outdoors, we do require masks. And so you can rest, rest assured that your child will be safe. Um, one of our other requirements is hand washing. So you will find that um, there's hand washing um, before they go outside, when they re-enter the program, hand washing before any snack, lunch, or breakfast is served. Um, we do keep our students or participants six feet apart within our center programs and three feet apart within our DOE-based programs. So you can rest assured that your child will be safe. In our DOE buildings, there is random testing. Um, that is led by the DOE. And so I want to mention that for some arising programs um, that that is a part of the program to keep the participants safe. So at this time, um, I would like to thank everyone for their time this evening. Um, as I mentioned, um, please visit our website for enrollment information. Um, and our programs are free of charge. And so I just want to state um, the locations that we have open again. We have PS112, which is fully enrolled, but you can certainly add yourself to the wait list. Our Washington Houses Community Center, which has well over 50 slots available. Our Gaylord White Community Center on East 104th, which has several slots available. Uh, PS138 is fully enrolled. However, you can certainly add yourself to the wait list. Um, M007, we have elementary and middle school, so we're saving, servicing K through eight in that building. And we have several slots available. So if you are interested, or if you know of anyone interested, please be sure to let them know that Union Settlement is currently enrolling for summer rising and summer camp. 
Um, I will now pass it over um, to Ashley and Zara for our closing in Spanish. Gracias eh, por venir hoy a no viendo este programa uh, para inscribir. Eh, puede inscribir la eh, https eh, www.discoverdyc.nyc eh, para registrar para programas. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining. We were born in a high needs neighborhood, so challenges are par for the course. Our program was built for this, and it's just, okay, what's next? The systemic problems and the things that these communities were suffering with, they've come to light because of the pandemic. And these, these Harlem residents, their story can't just be all resilience and toughness. At some point, they have to have all the needs on a holistic level met different, definitely, but people in the community, they have hope because the organization is here to maintain it. We've done it for many years and we will continue to do it. It might be six feet apart, but it will still be everything that we come to expect. Arts, athletics, all types of projects that the children work on. I'm gonna to continue to provide it.